In this video, guys, we're gonna look at best habits for day traders. If you're a day trader, stick around. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. All right, so day traders out there, one for you. It's a hard game. You're stuck in front of the screens all day long. It's challenging. It's very, very uh, draining from a kind of psychological perspective. It's very draining from a, a focus perspective, but it's one of those things that can be very, very lucrative and very, very rewarding if you get it right. But it's a fine line. You, know, you push too hard, you end up pushing too much and doing damage to your account and undoing all the good work. You don't push hard enough, you don't get the gain. So what are the kind of best habits that we like to look at or we like to employ for ourselves as traders if we are a day trader? So first thing guys is have a defined strategy or edge. Many day traders make the mistake of going in and just looking all over the place. And especially when you have got access to a lot of markets like you, you might be looking at all the markets there, you might be seeing gold moving, you might be seeing silver moving, you might be seeing currencies moving, and you just wanna trade all of them. Yes, it's tempting to, and I get it, right? We wanna trade movement, we see movement, we think if we can get on it, we can make some money, we can get to the next thing. But unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. It's far better to go one of two ways. And the first way is that you're very focused on one specific market, maybe two, maybe three a push, but I don't know many day traders who go above a handful of markets. And what they'll do is, they might have a handful of markets that they're watching, but they'll be very laser focused on one or two on one particular day, and the next day maybe another two. So they won't look at loads and try and day trade loads of them. Then we focus on one or two and I'm trading the intricacies of those, the little mean reversion trades, momentum trades, or you specialize in a setup and strategy. So that may be, okay, I have a specific setup and I look to trade the opening drive, for example. Great day traders um, strategy that, wait for the opening of the market, European market opens, you might go to the DAX. US market opens, you might go straight to the NASDAQ, the Dow. Uh, Asian market opens, maybe you go for something like Nikkei, Hang Seng, or one of those things. So you get the idea. The idea is that you're kind of rotating around and just looking for a specific setup, an opening drive or a fade, or whatever it may be. So pick your strategy, have a very defined strategy, chart pattern, again, whatever you wanna do, and your edge, and stick to it. And I think if you can at least define what you're doing and looking for, you're way ahead of the curve. Okay, second one, guys, is be ruthless with risk control. Classic failure um, reason for many day traders is they just don't, look, don't manage the risk effectively enough. They have a good run, everything works out for them, and then bang, they lose all the week's gains in one day, purely because they're taking too much risk on, or they have a hidden risk in the deal, or they're over trading during the day and losing more than they should, not stopping, not pulling the plug and accepting uh, their loss on the day and saying, right, I'm done, and it's come back tomorrow. So be very, very ruthless with risk control. That's so, so important, because no matter how good you are as a day trader, you're gonna have losers. You're gonna have losing days, you might even have a losing week, you might have a losing month, but it can be not that important or not that damaging to your account unless you let it. If you let it, then it's gonna hammer your account. Third one, guys, is protect your mental capital. Just like your uh, financial capital, your mental capital needs to be protected. What do I mean by this? So you need to be very aware of when you are actually engaged in looking at the markets, whether you're analyzing, whether you're waiting for a trade, whether you're tape reading, whether you're looking at the price action, whether you're analyzing different patterns. You know, your mental capital cannot be flat out all day long. You need to know when to use it and allocate it, just like you alloc if you're allocating um, a risk capital. So you're right, I'm gonna allocate it at the open, then I'm gonna back off a bit. I'm gonna allocate it if price gets to this level, then I'm gonna back off a bit. I'm gonna allocate it if we suddenly see a spike of this amount. So you start to then say, right, here's my off times, if you like, when I can relax a little bit and do some other bits and pieces. Maybe I'm doing some research, maybe I'm doing some journaling, maybe I'm scanning, but then I'm gonna really put the throttle down under these specific circumstances and allocate full mental capital to that. So you're regulating it. Rather than a mistake a lot of day traders make is they just go flat out from the open and then by midday they're burnt out. Now that's fine if you say to yourself, fine, I'm only gonna trade that specific hour. But if you're then trading all the way through, especially if you're trading from Europe, guys, you're up at uh, whatever, 7 a.m., you're trading open, you're trading all the way through, then you're right away to the US close. By the time the US close, you just you open yourself up for a silly mistake coming into the closing hour, especially when volatility starts to pick up towards the US close. So just be aware of that, guys. Be careful about how you allocate your mental capital and protect it. Number four is build excellent focus skills. Uh, if we're going for that pattern of, I'm gonna focus, I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna focus, I'm gonna come out, 
then you have to be very good at picking up your focus very quickly. So let's say the market is going to a resistance level that you're looking to get involved in, or maybe you're just considering a trade one way or the other, but you know it's an area you're potentially looking to do some business in, then you wanna be able to quickly focus 100% on what's going on. Right, what's going on here? Uh, am I analyzing am I at new highs here? What's the volume doing? Any correlated markets I'm looking at? What time of day are we? Have we got anything coming up? So very quickly going from almost like a, a, a tick over level, if you like, to maximum revs, so being very good at, at the ability to do that because it's challenging and very often we can be lounging and going, oh yeah, there's a trade and just click the mouse, take the trade and we're not at full focus. You need to be at full focus. So improve that skill. Those are ways you can go do that, guys. Those are different strategies you can do to be able to get yourself into the zone quickly. Number five, nurture and grow self-control and emotion management. So this is super, super important. The biggest killer of day traders, and I've got no facts for this, but I'm pretty sure it's true, is just not having the self-control to stop trading, so you're over-trading, taking the trades that you shouldn't really be trading just because you're getting bored or you think it's this or it doesn't quite tick the boxes, anything where you're doing it outside of your trading plan. So in other words, it's the discipline issue. This is the one thing that mostly will kill day traders is discipline. It's not necessarily the bad setup, the bad strategies, not sticking to stops, it's just this discipline. So be very, very good at growing your self-control. It needs to be nurtured, you can't just turn it on and off, you can't just suddenly be disciplined and not disciplined. It needs to be like a muscle, you need to grow it and grow it and grow it and grow it. And same with emotion management, that comes with, uh, it kind of comes with the territory side by side. So recognize when you're feeling frustrated, recognize when you're feeling greedy, all these kind of things, and then be able to step back and go, right, I need to get back into my focus mode, I need to have my self-control to not be able to over trading, not trading too much size, all these kind of things. Um, and the last one, guys, is know when to step back. Big one for day traders is we have volatility there. We want to be involved, I get it. You know, we want to make money and make good trades. That's the whole reason that we're involved in the markets. But very often, if we're out of step in the market, we're just gonna do more damage than good. You know, volatile market is double-edged sword. It's fantastic if we get it on the right end of it, we're riding the wave, just like a big wave surfer, I guess. You get it right, it's great and rewarding. If you get it wrong, you're gonna get smashed. So be very, very careful and know when to step back. Know when you're tired. Know when you're not in tune with the market. Know when you're not making the best trades. Know when your discipline's starting to wane. Recognize when you're feeling a little frustrated about things. Recognize all these things and being very, very self-aware so that you can, when you're on form, you can push the throttle down, you can trade a little bit more size, you can trade a little bit more aggressively, you can trade actively when everything's lining up for you, and when it's not, you step back, you let other people get involved. That's the beauty of being a retail trader. You allocate your capital when you think it's time to allocate your capital, especially as a day trader. All right, guys, don't forget in the description below. Go see if they're right for you. Take care, see you in the next one, bye-bye.